Greeting everyone and welcome to this video about safety data sheet. A safety data sheet is a document that provides detailed information on handling hazard chemical, usually created by the manufactured company and distributed to the users that are using that chemical. It can be provided as a hard copies and also it can be a soft copies as well. Before it was known as MSDS, Material Safety Data Sheet, and now it is SDS, Safety Data Sheet. This is happen when OSHA revised its hazard communication standard to align with GHS. This include changing MSDS to SDS. GHS is a global harmonized system for classification and labeling of chemical. And OSHA is Occupational Safety and Health Administration. There are 16 sections for the safety data sheet SDS. We are going to talk about each and individual one in the next slides. In section number one, identification, you will find the product name, who are the relevant users, also the details of the supplier, and most likely emergency phone number. In section two for hazard identification, you will see the classification of that substance and the label of that hazard. The section number three will be all about composition information for the substance or the mixture. In section number four, it is about first aid measure. How do you do in case of incidents? For example, the chemical got contact with your eyes or skin and so on. Also, it might point any immediate medical or special treatment needed. needed. Section number five, the firefighting measure. In here, you will know what is the extinguishing media, what is the special hazard arising from that substance or mixtures, and also it may advise you for the selection of the right firefighter. In section number six, accidental release measure, you will know about the personal precautions, what type of PPE that you can use, the emergency response procedures, also the method for containment and cleanup. Section number seven, handling and storage. It gives clear idea about the precaution of a safe handling, the condition of a safe storage, and also a specific end use. Section number eight is about exposure control and personal protection. For example, some work areas, they got a control parameter to monitor humidity and temperature. Also, as an exposure control, people are using PPE as a minimum requirement to protect themselves. For example, we have eye and face protection. We have skin protection like gloves. We have respiratory protection like a mask. Also, we can protect the environment by not allowing the specific chemical to go to the soil. Section number 9 is talking about the physical and chemical properties and information of the basic physical and chemical properties plus other information. Section number 10 is talking about the stability and reactivity. The stability of that chemical, the reactivity, the possible of hazard reactions, the condition that we need to avoid and the incompatible material. Section number 11 is about toxicological information, a general information about the toxicological effects of the chemical. Section number 12 about ecological information, some information about the bioaccumulative potential plus the effect of mobility of this chemical to the soil and some toxicity information. Section number 13 is about disposal consideration. More likely is an advice on the best waste treatment method. And section number 14 is a transportation information. You will have the UN number, the UN shipping name, the transport hazard class, and maybe a special precaution that you need to follow when you are transporting such a material. Section number 15 is about regulatory information, some information about the health safety and the environmental regulations, plus maybe some chemical safety assessment. Section number 16 will be other information, for example, the date of the last version of SDS, safety data sheet. 
This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.